Hey, how are you doing everyone? This is Phil from statisticsmentor.com. In this video we're looking at the one way within subjects ANOVA. This is where we wish to compare means within the levels of one factor, where each item being measured experiences each level of the factors. The example I've got here is time taken to drive around a racetrack. We've got eight participants. Each participant drives around the track using cars one, two, three, and four, and the DV is the time taken to go around the track. And the question is, is there a mean difference in is a difference in the mean times taken to go around the track uh, between these cars? So basically speaking, we want to see if if there's a difference in the performance of these four cars. Now, how is this different to one way between? Well, notice that each level of this factor, being type of car, has a column. There's a column for each level. Whereas for the one way between ANOVA, you've got two columns one containing the levels of the factor, just label 1, 2, whatever, 3, 4, 5, so on, and one containing the dv. So go back to the within, you can see that the dv's separate columns, one for each levels of the factor. Now the question is going to be the same again, the main null hypothesis is we're testing the null that there is no difference in the means uh, of the dv versus the alternative that there is. And should there be evidence of a difference, we can look at pairwise comparisons tests. Now, to set up the one way within, we go to analyze, we go to general linear model, not generalized linear model, we go to general linear model, and we go to repeated measures. Repeated measures is another name for within and over. Within subject name, factor name, we give that the name which we desire. Here, they've got four types of car, so there's a car type. Number of levels, we've got four levels because there are four types of cars. Then we go add, and then we go define. Now, notice that in this box, goes levels one, two, three, four. It's these numbers are set labeling the levels. So we've got four levels, we highlight our four levels of that factor and we transfer it over and so those question marks now converted into the names of our levels. At this stage we could ask for pairwise comparisons tests. We'll go to options, factor and factor interactions, we'll take car type over into display means and we wish to compare what they call compare the main effects. Click on that. Here we're given an option, Bonferroni LSD. Let's go for Bonferroni. That's a popular option. Continue. And then it's OK. Now there's a lot more output here than for between and over. Now, this will multivariate test, we can ignore that for one way between. Which what we need first is to conduct this Morshley test of sphericity. The null hypothesis is that this condition of sphericity is satisfied versus the alternative it isn't. Now if you want to know it more technically what it's saying just read under here. Right so Morshley's W.572 it has a significance level significant uh, p-value of 0.674 so we do not reject the null hence the condition is satisfied that means we can continue to look at the test of within effects and what we do the source here is split into the one for the factor car type and the other one which is error ignore the error we'll connect the factor look at sphericity assumed because that condition was satisfied the null is, we're looking at F here, the null is that there's no difference in the means of the levels of that factor. I know means in the time taken to go around the 
racetrack with the, each of the four cars? Do we reject the null? Yes, since p value is less than 0 0.05. So next we want to see where the differences lie. Okay, so wind contrast, ignore that. We don't need that. We don't need that. So estimated marginal means. Cars 1 to 4. You can see the mean times here. That takes mean is lot time is longest for type 4, 209 whatever seconds it is. And the fastest is for type 3, 177. You can see there looks like some differences there. And the standard error is quite small as well relative to the size of the means, suggesting there is a difference in means. But we found formally that there was a difference. So look at the pairwise comparisons. We asked for the Bonferroni. I car type and J car type, and we've got mean difference I minus J. So mean one compared to two, that's the mean difference of going from one to two, car type of two, so they're looking at one seven eight point six possibly minus one eight nine, so it's going to be a negative figure, indeed it is. Negative figure. Is it significant? Yes, so that's telling us that there is a difference between evidence of a difference between the mean travel times for one car type one and two. How about one and three? No, p values. How about one and four? Yes. Okay. Likewise, two to one. Well, that's the same as one to two, but the other way around. Two to three is a difference. Yes, p value 0 0.007 bigger than 0 0.05. Two to four. Yes, there's a difference, and so on. So at the basic level, it's just simple as that. Do that. First of all, check Morshley condition. Is that satisfied? Then go and read off the F value, testing if there's a difference across the levels of the, of the factor. And if there is evidence of that, we look at pairwise comparison tests. Let's go back to the beginning. Morshley's test for sphericity. Suppose it's not satisfied, then what do we do? Well, what we can do is read off, choose one of two types of tests to find the F. Instead of reading sphericity assumed, we may choose to read this uh, greenhouse geyser or this, uh, I won't even attempt to say it, HF test anyway. Just to say that, you know, some lecturers prefer just to go tell their students, just go for the, this GG1. Why? It's because this GG1 is more conservative than this HF1. In other words, if you reject for GG, you can definitely reject for HF. So it's a more strict, stricter. Some people like to make a choice between the GG and the HF by looking at the sizes of the epsilon. Okay, but if you want to be conservative, you just go for the GG. At this stage, you know, just look at what, what your lecturer prefers you to do. Okay, so that's a very very simple look at the repeat one way within subjects and over. Good, have a go.